Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Bloody Roar games for the Sony PS2. Bloody Roar are fighting games, in which the characters transform into beasts. They have this animal form, it's nice that the game has a story, with drawn pictures and text. The story is up to you if you find it good or not. There are some people who have the beast mark, it appears random, and it grants the people who have it, as the game says, ultimate power, but also random death. That's the premise. Other than this, the gameplay is a basic fighting game. Okay, maybe more simplistic. I mean, the combos aren't as complex as a Street Fighter. Combos here mostly consist on double tapping and pressing a button, but the awakening mode into beast form compensates that. As game modes you get arcade, versus battle, survival, and you get 14 playable characters. And as for Bloody Roar 4, it has a different story and the same gameplay formula, but not the same gameplay quality. The game is the first one to have voice acting and cutscenes, but the voice acting is bad, and the text has typos. Also the plot expands, and at this point you either like it, or don't like it. I didn't like it. On the gameplay department, a new addition is that now you can also transform into beast form without the beast gauge full. But it will drain your health. Also the invisible barriers in this game get to be annoying. But on the plus side, the game has more characters, it has 18 playable characters which you can even upgrade, I mean you can win DNA points to upgrade stats like strength or speed. Overall the games are basic fighting games, even if they have this original idea of transforming into beasts. If you're into fighting games, you might like the games. Now the community has mixed feelings about the games, both critics and players. The games even have a fan base, so there are people into these games, but others, aside of the fans, say that it's a good fighting game, but it gets boring fast. I didn't like it because of the plot and the art style, but gameplay wise, it was okay. So it's up to you if you like it or not. 